What we're doing today, finishing the front end, I wanna make a full buck of this hat so I know exactly what it's gonna look like. It's a four day weekend, so I'll probably get quite a bit of other stuff done. My poor camera is on its last legs, so fingers crossed it holds up for a while because I don't wanna buy a new camera. Enjoy, feel free to follow along. This is a pretty genuine series of what it is actually like making something with no qualifications. It takes time, stuff is slow, it's not, magic i'm not gonna buy a shell and have a car done in two weeks it's not how it is so I'm, I'm honest i'm gonna keep it honest first order of business as always cleaning up my mess pulling the front end back off and getting back into it so i'll be back just like that everything's clean it's already hot as hell and obviously super bright and the way that this car's positioned is less than ideal because i'm always in the sun like this and i'm terrible with a camera that's not my forte so i'll quickly get the front end off this car and grab a tape. I'm going to measure this distance between here. I'm pretty sure it's about 30 inches um, and then I need to measure this distance here to here. Add maybe an inch because I reckon what we'll do is I'll make a little box section sort of thing. Probably the nicest way of doing it. So it's 82 by 12. Also, disregard, I live in a cave. I only turn the lights on that I need to turn on. I've got my square because I do want this to be pretty nice. Um, I'm just trying to find a ruler but a tape measure is going to be fine. Get a marker quickly and then go outside to the super rusty 1.6 um, and cut a section out of that. I need to clean this up as well. I'm a mess. This is my, this is my toolbox. <laughs> Here is the rusty bit of 1.6 in question, so move this up. So that's cut out. Now, <clears throat> basically what I'm gonna do, measure in, I think about two centimeters a side. I don't know if you can see this. Two centimeters, so clean it up, obviously. Straighten it out nicely first, get rid of all the rust. But clean it up about two centimeters a side, fold, fold, and then I'll mark all my dimples, so. But assuming I haven't messed anything up. There you go, that's pretty well the right width. That's what I wanted. This is pretty rigid, it's 1.6, but like I said, once it's boxed and has dimples in it, this will be strong as hell, so. So that's all cleaned up pretty well, good enough. Um, I'll get the last little bit of rust off before I prime it and stuff um, with a wire wheel, but I just wanted to get the majority off so I can actually make marks on this and um, fold it up. So what I'm gonna do to mark it is verniers, um, measure centimeter, that's how much I got overhang on either side sort of thing. And this is probably a massive sin, but basically scratch along with the verniers the whole way. Um, this is all I use verniers for anyway. I mean, occasionally measuring stuff, but this works. Alrighty. So I've got my marks. I did the first one wrong. Um, I wanted a bit more than a centimeter. So I got my second mark. You're probably not gonna be able to see it super well. But basically, I'm not gonna show you how to use a folder. I don't really know how much winging it for the thing. But um, get it on here. Line the line up with the thing. Clamp it down. vanished it's about 90 degrees hopefully that's still enough i'll do the other side oh no it's about right i did still go a little bit under so do the other side this is actually fucking hard all right so it's pretty good it's gonna be good enough that's already not going to flex, but I do want to put dimples in it anyway. Um, it'll be really testing my little hydraulic dimpler, but we'll see. What I also should have done is marked center before I bent it, but I'll still be able to get a pretty accurate center. So essentially measure the width with verniers, um, ideally. This is the easiest way, this is what I do all the time. Measure the width with verniers and we got, 
obviously the digital part doesn't work, it's 95. So 95, 45, 47.5, close as half to it. And then basically same thing, drag it down. So I can get my holes nice and centered. Oops. Also fold it wrong about the ugly side on the top, but whatever. <laughs> it's actually a lot easier having a tripod too. I don't know if this is a better video. I don't know if you want to watch me swinging a camera around wildly, but this is so much easier actually being able to do stuff um, and explain it while I'm doing it because otherwise I don't <laughs> every three and a half inches, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, every three and a half inches I've done from the center. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'll go drill these out on the drill press, um, center punch them hopefully, because I can't seem to find a center punch. Um, and then slowly start dimpling them out. Um, I can also tell you right now with absolute certainty, this wide angle lens thing, um, that I'm about to put back on is going to be broken probably within the next two days because it just magnetizes on. It's now got metal filings on it and it keeps flying off every single time I try and do anything. So still staying on there currently, but seriously, two days top. <laughs> All the holes drilled. Um, what I'll do while I'm down here, the limbs is right here. I'll um, clean up this whole top side. And what I did this time instead of last time was I drilled it to the size. Yeah, pretty well. It's super snug to the size of the bigger one, so I'm not gonna have any issues like I did last time. So I've cleaned up 90% of that and I wanted to clean up this side more than anything. Um, the other side's gonna be fine. I'll just give it a bit more of a sand. It's the underside, I should probably do more, but whatever. Cause this side, when it gets dimpled, oh, much the same as the underside. Anyway, when it gets dimpled, I won't be able to really get in there as easily sort of thing. So I'd rather it be a nice finish before I actually dimple. So I tried to record all that. I didn't even bother because it just wasn't working for me. Um, I think I drilled the hole slightly too snug. Everything was getting snagged on the um, die, which sucks, but got them all done. It was very tedious. This part will be a lot easier because I'm just dimpling them out now. So I will film this. Um, obviously it'll be sped up, but. Pretty sick, so come out in the front of the car. Holy shit, swimming like this kills the camera really fast. That's sick. I don't know, I'll never get sick of looking at these things. So I just taped the sides up up here to see what it'd look like with some sort of side plates on it, and I don't think it's a go. I think this and this top bit dimpled, and then leaving all the verticals tube, because otherwise it would look like it's not made out of tube, which is sort of you know half of what I want more than anything. Um, but what I'll do now is I'll level these out a little bit more. This is the only one that's low and then straighten them all out. And then I'll tack these, this guy on. Alrighty, I'm back. So we were mucking around with the Karina for a little bit, trying to get it to run, but um, ground the bottom down now. And I've got pff, a million magnets trying to hold this piece on because they're actually pretty shit. Um, but I think that looks pretty sick. So what I'll do now, get a couple tacks on this before it decides to fall off again because the magnets don't even want to hold it here. I got a, um, I've got a couple of dog shit gasless tacks on there because I forgot there was still no gas in the nig. So I swapped the bottle and now I'll get a couple better tacks on it, um, get these magnets off and then um, weld all the way around sort of thing. So disregard my welding ability. So off to a terrible start. Probably should have checked to see if that was all good after I tacked it, but I didn't, so it's not the end of the world. Um, it looks pretty good visually, obviously, because visually is the only thing that matters, clearly. Um, I think that's pretty sick. It's not too, it's, it's pretty level with the ground. Um, that bow in the top still makes it a bit hard. I can maybe try flex it up a little bit more, but I said I'm not, I'm not I'm happy with it. Um, so, what I'll do now is I'll knock off the balancer. 
and there's another battery. That's a lie. I'm pulling this front end off and I'm finishing it. I'm finishing something so I can say I've fucking done it. Um, I'm not I'm not starting something else yet. So give me two secs. I'm going to knock this front end off and I'm going to finish welding it all up, clean it all up and just get the whole thing in primer. Alright, don't get me wrong, I'm under no illusion. I'm not winning any awards for these welds. Um, most of them you can't see. Um, they're solid, that's all that matters. Like I know I've got pretty decent penetration, snow holes, all that sort of thing. <laughs> um, I know also someone's gonna crucify me if I ever get around to doing a roll cage. I know you can't grind a roll cage back, so don't worry, I always say it. I can weld a bit better than this, but everything's super gappy. I'm not confident doing little pipe and stuff. Um, I should just do a weld just to prove my point, but you know, I can weld decent enough. Anyway, I don't need to justify myself, fuck you. Buzz this all down, um, get all the rust off, wire wheel in all the corners I can't get to, and then edge prime the whole thing. So this side took probably 30, 40 minutes. Um, I found this bottle that I, I think, I'm pretty sure, I think, maybe, it was sitting out there somewhere, is rust converter. Um, so I did a little test spot and it's doing something it's doing something and I think I'm pretty sure it is from memory um, so I had soaked everything in this and I'll let this sit for a bit and then maybe just scotchy the rest of the shit off and then just edge prime it because it's a pain in the ass I should have just protected it from the start all right so the mystery fluid in the bottle I'm not sure if it's what I thought it was but it's doing something so it's got to be some sort of chemical and it burnt my fingers a little bit Everything's now gone this weird shade of green. Um, but from memory, I have used this before and that's what it did. So I'm pretty sure it's a rust converter, mystery solved. Um, what I'll do now is I'll, it's dry enough. I'll um, scuff this all off and uh, get some high fill on it. There was no way I was filming any of the buffing and the buzzing of any of this either. Cause fuck me, man, it took ages. I ran out of primer, which is a pain in the ass, but it's mostly protected. It's mostly covered. I think that's pretty sick. It's pretty wild looking radiator support essentially um yeah fuck it's gonna do its job like first and foremost it needs to work um and obviously i wanted it to look pretty cool i think it looks pretty cool i think it's gonna work fine so just take a moment So, I just had some food. Um, if there's one thing I cannot fucking stand in this world, it's mosquitoes, and they seem to love me. It's like maybe seven o'clock. It's not even seven o'clock yet. It's yeah, it's probably seven, and they're everywhere. It's still light. Like I don't know. There's not heaps of standing water around here. I don't. I don't get it. Anyway, what I'm gonna slash wanna need to do is I don't know. I'm just getting eaten alive. I can't stand it. I just. Oh me um disregard um i need to clean the blower up because i would like to polish it i don't think that's going to be a thing looking at it like seriously um the casting is really rough on it obviously it's just a diesel blower um but i do need to clean it up either way uh, i don't really want to do it the other thing i need to do is still make the rest of that hat make like the buck for the rest of that hat um i should take some look up some dimensions and some stuff like that and kind of just make sure that it's all about the right size like the neck and stuff at least um as you can see there it's i think it's pretty close that bottom plate that i've made isn't quite right um you can see it falls a little bit short or whatever it's a little bit narrow but um yeah i would like to make like a bit more of a buck or a bit more of a complete thing and then even if i tape that up and whatever so i have like a full 3d copy of it um I also need to get, if I'm going to clean the blower up or anything, a little, what's it called? Like a 90 degree, 90 degree die grinder, air sander thing. You know what they're called. You know what they are. Um, 
I have one at work, or rather, Jesse has one at work, but I'm sure I can steal it because it's a long weekend. I don't think he's going to be in or using it a whole lot this weekend. Um, so it's currently 6.54, so I am tossing up whether or not I go and get it. I've got three more days of stuff I can do, which is sick, so I can get heaps done, and I'm so procrastinating, working out what I'm gonna do, see if I go to work or not. I'm gonna go to work, I reckon. I'm, um, I've got keys and shit, so I can get in there, but I'm gonna bring this with me. I'm also gonna bring the blower with me um, so I can make a top plate. Um, and once I've done that, it'll be handy because then I have a template to essentially make one out of obviously like eight or 10 mil, um, probably eight mil um, alloy for the base of this hat. So at least I've got that right. Um, I need to work out what the good vibrations um, or just a gen in general, I think eight, I think it's an eight V. This is an eight V seven one. This is an eight V seven one. Um, I'm pretty sure the intake is about the same size as an eight seven one, but it's also meant to be the same size as a six seven one. And there's a six seven one carby spacer thing here that's wrong when it sits wrong. So I'll uh, quickly take some measurements and then I'll race to work, or I can do it the other way around. I'll do that. I'll load this shit in the car and then I'll head to work. So I made it here and I've stood around for fucking like a fucking hour or something um, And I finally decided to see how long it's gonna take to fucking clean up one section of this um, It'll be cocksucker, but I will continue. I'll get some pads and shit for this thing And I feel like it might be a thing that I can fucking do But it is a pretty bad casting like a lot worse than I was thinking so Either way, um, what I'll do now is I'll just make a fucking plate for the top of this so I've at least done something productive while I'm here, um, and that'll be that. Alrighty, so I'm up the top. Um, I'm pretty sure, you know how I was saying earlier that I was gonna fuck this little wide-angle lens? I'm pretty sure I have the... There's a little glass element inside it that's dangling around, so I bet there's some mad blurs on the side. Anyway, so what I've got to do, and what I'm gonna do is... I've got this bit of cardboard, um, pretty thick car stock, same shit I made the hat out of, or the mock-up hat. Um, and then what I'm going to do is put it on here. So I've got the full size. I've got a nice sort of straight edge along here. I'll line it all up and um, I'll see if I can... Oh, I won't be able to film this because I don't have my tripod. But um, what I'll do is, I'm sure everyone's seen this before, get a hammer and you basically go get one of the holes and you just tap into the hole enough that what will happen is you'll get an imprint on the other side and you can usually tap it right through. So, alrighty, so... This fucking little lens thing just fell in all the dust. And I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's inside it, so I'll have to have a look at that tonight, see if I can work that out. <laughs> um, for now, I'll keep putting it back on to keep with it. Oh, wow, it makes it bad. I won't be um I won't be putting that back on, actually. Yeah, nah, so sorry about that. The rest half the video has probably been real real dog shit. But um anyway, so what I'll do is I just got um, the first mark and then I remember we have these they're just like a little hole punch and it's the right diameter so what I'll do is I'll put it on here tap that hole out so I get a nice crisp hole and then copy it there alrighty so all the holes are punched out you can see a little bit of this mark here um, enough that I can fucking cut this out pretty confidently sort of thing the lights make it a bit hard because this is white but that's plenty like as far as I'm concerned I could tap it a little bit more but it's not going to really matter so I'll cut this out and I'll find a bit of wood just some scrap or something sort of thing I'm sure this is fine yeah that'll work so i can get a nice solid fucking template so you can just see i've got marks here the mechanical pencil so it's super accurate i'll cut this out a little bit big on the bandsaw and then i'll clean it up on the linear to get these edges nice and dead straight and then i'll just round the corners over ever so slightly because i don't really want them super sharp Alrighty, so this fits out pretty well perfect now i'm um, super happy with that got all my holes marked what i'll do drill all these um and then i essentially have like a really solid that's 16 mil plate um that's that's awesome like that fits as good as i want what i'll probably do because i'm gonna make it out of alloy sham for this as well i'm um, just on the router when i when it's when it's alloy but um i'm happy with that it's pretty cool so so i've just chucked a little chamfer on it um i think it looks pretty neat i didn't really need to but again i'm just this is all about visualizing so basically what i need to do now is i've got all the, some of the holes wrong it's not the end of the world um i don't know how big i can make them i don't want to make them too big but i can get enough in there to hold it on there um, I'm pretty much only going to use half of this, so that's totally fine. Um, it's to be expected. I'll mark where half is. I'll mark where the full length is, sort of thing, and I'll just um, just just so I know, basically. But yeah, the hat's not definitely not going to be feeding the whole fucking thing because the hat would be absolutely enormous if it was. But um, do that now, and then what I'll do is I'll bring the um, I'll bring the hat that I have already made, and I'll 
make some copies of some of the bits. I'll pull it apart, screw it to this, which is a new bottom plate, um, and then maybe maybe just sort of reshape the main sort of upright bit, I guess, to suit this new length thing. Anyway, all right, so before I forget to film everything, um, what I'm doing now is making another copy of this front opening. Um, and I'm remaking this to be a little bit longer because at the moment this only s takes up that much and I feel like for it to be right, I want it to be you know, at least that far back. So I've remade it with a slight more angle on the back. I feel like that'll look better anyway. Um, it's fucking still hot and hot up here. And then I'll um, make a couple more bits and pieces, sort of copy these together. I don't really actually need to make heaps more. Yes, I do. Anyway do this quickly and then I'm um, probably gonna call it off because it's like 9.30. Just made these two bits instead of making a super wide, like another two of these middle bits. So what I can do is basically put these here to get the width um, and then more or less that so I can at least tape to it and get an idea of what the actual shape's gonna be like. Alrighty, so I got those screwed on and it's already looking like a hat. So now I can fucking tape it all up, get the right widths and all that sort of thing and then um, visualize it but then obviously I can just make my sort of templates off at my side bit and then what I need to make for around here and stuff but it's getting there yeah that's sick it looks like I've got a bit more tape on it I haven't painted it yet or anything and I think that um that's definitely it looks like a bird catcher or a buzzard on top of a top fuel hat but I think that's pretty pretty sick and there it is with some dodgy silver on it with Hector for scale I think it's pretty sick. I also really like the, um, it's got like a spine in the back of it, so I reckon I might try and keep something like that, but I guess this is where it'd be in the car. But a lot bulkier now that it's all fully taped up and stuff. a long day, I'll turn this music down real quick before I get a mad strike or something. Um, it's like 12 o'clock now, I just went through Maccas and I'm on the way home, but got it done. I think it looks pretty sick. Oh, you won't be able to see it, it's way too dark, but um, yeah, I'm gonna sit on the car as soon as I get home. Maybe, probably not actually, I probably should go to sleep. So I should shower and go to sleep so I can get up at a reasonable time tomorrow. Anyway, here's Amelia's car. Alrighty, it's way too early for me to be up. I mean, not really. I mean, it is considering how late I went to bed, but um, I just wanted to sit this on here and have a look before I go and get some breakfast. Um, I think that's pretty sick. It's a bit dark in here. I'll turn the lights on quickly. Um, yes. Check it out. It's pretty big. Poke my inside of it again. That's not that offensive. I mean, it's hard to tell, the car's big, so I'll have to see. Um, once I'm a bit more awake, what I think of it, but um, it's cool. I, I, it might just be like fine tweaks now that I can change when I, when I actually make it, but um, yeah, everything's obviously a little bit wonky and stuff, but I don't think it looks wrong. I guess and that's what I'm going for. I don't know if I'd want to polish it though, or want it to be silver. It's hard. This is what I was tossing up last night about the um, plate and uh, the blower because of the end plates. I was like, am I going to paint it or am I going to, um, what's it called? Am I going to polish it? Uh, no, I don't know. But either way, what I'm going to do today is after I've got breakfast, I'm going to go and quickly get some discs pads for the 90 degree thing that I borrowed from work and maybe clean up the floor a little bit more but yeah like I said I need to wake up first so I just went out to get breakfast and get a couple things from the shops and oh my god I have never seen more idiots in one day I witnessed somebody I should have just been I should have just filmed all this stuff because I had my camera with me the whole time some woman back like trying to parallel park in a spot that was 
way too small. Oh, wait, here's another one of the idiots. Um, anyway, tried to parallel park a spot that she's never gonna fit in. Anyway, backed into this car two times, then drove off. Like, what? <laughs> On these little fucking um, 50cc scooter things, trying to go up like the steepest hill this close to Canberra in the middle of the lane and shit. And there's like 20 cars banked up. I don't know what is going on anyway. Um, idiots. But I just, I just, I wish I, I wish I filmed it all. Oh, and last night, someone tried to turn around into a, into a ditch and their car was fully beached as well. Like when I was going into work that I also forgot to mention, so. Alrighty, I'm back home. Um, it is time to clean the blower up a little bit, I think. I got my discs and stuff. Um, I'm still not 100% on the shape. I feel like that um, back spine, I don't know. I feel like something's a little bit off with it, but. Anywho, I think it's, it's the closest design I made. Yeah, I, I'm not unhappy with it. I also feel like silver or polished might not be the go. I might be painting stuff black, I reckon. It just looks neat. Um, however, oh, and I'll change the front opening a little bit. But yeah, what I will do is I'll pull this blower off and um, I'll start start cleaning it up. Um, I won't go crazy, but what I'll do is I'll get the finger file down um, the belt, power file, whatever you want to call it, down in here to get the majority of the, the nasties off. And then once I've done that, um, I can. There's a couple of little marks out of it, but like I said, I don't. I'll just start. I'll um, see if I can do a time lapse. I'm not really sure. They're not very good at those on this little camera, but I'll start cleaning it up. I want to try and maybe get a side done just to see what I think, or, and at least one little section polished maybe. But I'm not going to be polishing the whole thing right now because it's still got to go get sent off and get rebuilt, and it'd be a shame to polish it and then have to polish it again. You know what I mean? So what I'm thinking is instead of trying to add a whole video of me cleaning this blower up um, in this video, what I'll do is I'll probably do like another video. So if you're seeing this, that other video will be later. <sighs> this is not gonna be a one day job, but I'll at least start now. When I'm, when I'm cleaning the blower up and stuff like that, I'll film bits and pieces. So there'll be a video of just restoring the blower essentially. Here is my very official um, office looking desk set up. My little stand, I'll, um, I'll lock this guy in and um, I shall return. But like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go crazy in this video trying to clean up, you know, the whole blower because it's not really gonna be much of a thing, but. <laughs> Alrighty, I did what I said I was gonna do. I started doing another video that's gonna be basically refurbing this blower. So you can see where we're up to. Um, I'll update periodically, but I'm not gonna make this whole video about this when there's gonna be a video about it. But you see what I'm going for. So I'll update again when I've got this side mostly done, but um, <laughs> slow and steady wins the race. I guess. All right, so update on the blower. You're probably not gonna be able to hear me. Um, I'm doing a pretty good job. I've got a fair bit of the way through, but I'm gonna go to Bunnings and get some supplies to make my life a little bit easier. Um, my goal for this, for today, is at least maybe get most of this side back to bright and at least in 80 grit. And um, I'll be pretty happy with that. Even for this weekend, I've done plenty there sort of thing, but it's definitely coming along nicely. But I can only do this so much before I have to go do something. So I'll go to Bunnings quickly. Jordan has arrived. He's all, he's all injured. Look at him. We're going for a trip. And um, dad's running the car up, so I can't hear. Alrighty, so I fucking, before I get super ahead of myself, I, I was standing and I noticed there is heaps of like, it's just super porous. Like it's way more porous than I thought it was. <laughs> um, obviously, like I was saying, it's old. So at this sort of distance, fuck, you're probably not going to notice it. It's going to kill me. But what I did is I did a quick fucking brush through the grits to get it to a point where I can get some shine out of it. Just with a little hand polish and um, I'm gonna see like just how obvious it is. So if it's real fucking dog shit, I'm probably not going to continue with polishing it because nothing I can do about it. Um, I've gone pretty far already, so it's not an issue of like, I haven't gone deep enough through the um, material to get it flat. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'll just quickly, quickly give this a hand polish and we will see. <laughs> fucking alrighty, so we got a fuck. <laughs> Alrighty, so we fucking, I, I, I was recording the other video fucking heaps because I was pretty confident this was going to be sick. So you can see it, it's brighter, um, but where I got to is I flattened all the fucking casting flash off this side, um, got it pretty good, got in all the grooves and that sort of shit. This is where it kills me, right? So fucking, I've, I've done a real bodgy quick hand polish on one of them, like went through the grits or whatever um, in between one of the ribs. And it's sick, like it'll come up pretty bright. I don't think I'll be able to get it dead true, fully flat. This bit I got pretty good. It's You can see up the top, it's kind of hard to tell. It's not it's not dead flat up here. I can still go more with the block, 100%. Um, it's just how 
committed I really am to it sort of thing. But I did sit it back on here so I can get an idea of what it's going to be like on the car. And there's so much like porosity in the um, actual casting that I can't get out. Like this, so this bit here especially is under the, it was under the big chunk of casting flash. So it's definitely well and truly into the casting now. It's not like I'm, I'm hung up on that surface shit. Like say if you're polishing a comp cover, which is a pain in the ass because I um, obviously can't keep going. Like I can't really, there's no filler. There's not like a thing like that. I could, you know, I could get dad to tick up the whole case, but I'm not doing that. That it, it, It'd just do more damage than good and fucking then you got, anyway, so I'm fucking, I've been doing this pretty much all day. I was, didn't even want to do it all fucking day. Um, so now I'm at the point where I don't know what avenue I should go down for the fucking blower because I don't want to paint it, but Either way, it's not going to be dead flat. If I do gloss black, it'll be a little bit wavy. And, of course, if this polishing isn't mad, I've got the billet front end plates, so that'll probably instantly take away from it. However, this is definitely going to be half an hour at least. So, fucking, if you fucking enjoyed the video, let me know. Leave a like or something like that. Bye. And before I go, fuck, sorry, guys. <laughs> I got Jordan here and I keep starting videos literally as soon as he's talking. But before I go, that's what I was going to say. I need input. How should I finish this blower? Because I don't want to paint it. Like I said, um, painting it silver is a cop out because it looks like I could have polished it. I don't really want to powder coat it. I want to polish it, but fucking what's, what's the verdict? What, sh what should I do with this thing? Because I am fucking stumped.